Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. In this episode, I'll be giving you the details about recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, which is a problem that can cause significant amount of pain and irritation in the people that have it. To better understand what this is, let's look at the eye model where the cornea is the clear shield that covers the front of the eye. On the surface is what we call the epithelium that is a thin layer, a little bit like the skin that covers the eye because this layer is always replaced and changes over and helps provide a nice smooth surface for the eye. If the eye is scratched or hit, it's very easy for this thin layer of epithelium to be removed in what we call a corneal abrasion. This is very painful but it heals very quickly. Once it heals back in from all directions, it can smooth out the surface of the eye and patients can then feel better. However, if this happens and there is not a good attachment between the surface layer of the epithelium and the underlying layers of the cornea, patients can be prone to recurrent corneal erosions. They may notice after they wake up in the morning or early in the night that they have a lot of pain, redness, and their eye can be running water. That is because where there is not a good adhesion between the epithelium and the underlying layers, it can easily break off again and cause an erosion that's similar to the abrasion they had before. Other reasons that people could have this could be an inherited disease where the epithelium does not stick down properly like it should or other people with diabetes can have trouble with the adherence of these layers. Initially we can treat conservatively with lubrication or a strong saline ointment or solution that can help smooth the surface and allow better adhesion of that epithelium. But when these treatments do not work, we have to go to more advanced treatments such as using a specialized contact lens that can help keep the surface intact and prevent any brushing or disturbance from the eyelid with a blink or when people are sleeping. After this treatment, if people are still having trouble and have erosions frequently, some people every week or every month, or if the erosions are very bad that they bother them a lot, we may consider surgery. One type of procedure that we can do is take a needle to make fine impressions in the area of the erosion that we see to create a small scar to create better adhesion. We can also do a treatment called PTK, which stands for phototherapeutic keratectomy, which is basically using the laser that we use to perform LASIK with to remove some layers and then create what we think is a better adhesion. Next week I'd like to give you more details about PTK because it's a great procedure for the right people. But that's all the time we have for today. So as always, please post on our Facebook if you have comments or questions. And until next time, good health and good sight.